Welcome to DHS Informatics. In this video, we are going to see the demonstration on chronic kidney disease prediction. This project helps us to know the, whether the person is having chronic kidney disease or not. We are inspired by the paper titled as Comprehensive Performance Assessment of Deep Learning Models in Earlier Prediction and Risk Identification of Chronic Disease Kidney Disease. This is an IEEE paper published in the year 2021. In DHS, we are developing a projects with two techniques, one with Jupyter Notebook, which is a backend and another with Flask, which is a frontend. In Jupyter Notebook, we will do load the data, we will do the pre-processing techniques and we will train the model, test the model and finally we will save that model. This is how the Jupyter Notebook look like. There are two steps in this uh, backend, one pre-processing of the model and then training of the model. First, we will see with the pre-processing. First, we will import all the necessary libraries. After that, we will load the data set. Our data set consists of 400 rows and 26 columns. And data pre-processing will be done. Here, we are giving the column name fully. Here you can see there are two targets, chronic disease, not chronic disease. Uh, chronic kidney disease has 250 samples and not chronic kidney disease has 150 samples. After that, we are plotting one visualization based on age versus number of records. In the x-axis age, in the y-axis number of records. And this is the another one plot based on a blood, blood pressure feature. This is based on sugar feature. This is the graph which is based on analysis of red blood cells. After this, This graph com like compares UniQ records comparison of feature bacteria feature. Here we are displaying the data set information. It consists of float and all also object data type. Here we are printing some data set and null value analysis will be done. And there is no null value here in this data set. After we are getting the information about the data set, it consists of object. That's why we are doing label encoding here. After doing the label including, uh, encoding, all the data type you can see here, float and int the object is converted into numerical form. Then feature selection is done. As you can see, they are now the number of row is 400 and number of column is 16. Here we are printing by head. After that, outlayer detection using IQR is done. Class 0 means chronic kidney disease. Class 1 means non-chronic kidney disease. Data oversampling is done. And data transformation is done. After this, we will split the model into X train, Y train and X test and Y test. This is about the pre-processing part. Now we will see the training part. 
we will import all the necessary libraries here and we are loading the data the splitted data which is x train x test and y train and y test here we are here we are printing x train x test y train and y test here we are using rnn the model is build this is how the model is building after that this is the model summary of rnn and we will train the model here we are using 50 epochs to train our model this is the accuracy plot and loss plot of rnn these are the predicted value by the model and these are the true values we will compare compare this both true value and predicted value and we will here we are getting 99.38 percentage of accuracy for rnn model and this is how the classification report look like and this is the confusion matrix this is about the back end now we are moving for the front end part this is how the front end part look like first we need to register by giving one name and we need to create one mail id after that we need to create one password for that particular mail id and we need to sign up here after this login page will come you need to give the mail id and the password which you have been created and you need to sign in after signing these are the information necessary information you need to give i am typing the age what is the blood pressure specific gravity red bird normal normal based on what we are giving the input it will predict whether the person has chronic disease or not after feeding all the necessary information i will click on submit here this is how the output look like by giving all the necessary information you can see here the person has chronic kidney disease the probability score is 100 this is about this project in dhs informatics we are giving the project to very reasonable price and help you until the last phase of the review so contact us at 9845166723 we will also provide a quality report and we will do the installation support if you want if you you want more details mean you can whatsapp us or walk into the office if you like this video please like comment and subscribe thank you